Yang Danda has been a leading light in helping Swansea City return to the Premier League, but he is also driven by the fact he's one of only a handful of British Asian footballers playing professionally in the United Kingdom. Danda, whose father was born in England to Indian parents, says he's excited by the idea of breaking barriers and being a role model. But being a role model isn't easy. Following Swansea's FA Cup defeat to Manchester City on February 10, Danda was subjected to racist abuse on Instagram. He later said Facebook, which owns Instagram, had added more fuel for hate by not banning the account from its platform, instead only restricting the user from sending private messages for a set period of time. That's why receiving the abuse hurt me so much, because I'm so proud of where I come from, and so for individuals to try and abuse me because of that was quite sad, he said. Danda said he was angry and hurt by the abuse and struggled to sleep that night. The 22-year-old believes Facebook chose not to ban the account for selfish reasons. They just want as many people as they can to be using their applications. They are not being affected, they are not being abused, so they are all right. They are not overthinking about anything or about how they look or how they feel, and as long as they've got as many people as they can using their websites, then they are happy. In response Instagram said it doesn't want racism and hate on its platform. The abuse directed at Yang Danda last week was completely unacceptable and the person who sent it is currently blocked from sending any more messages. While we believe it's important that people have the chance to learn from their mistakes, that doesn't mean we'll tolerate repeated abuse. If they continue to send hateful messages once these restrictions lift, we'll remove their account permanently. Danda says there is definitely not enough being done by social media companies and sport organizations to eradicate racism and address underrepresentation. We're in 2021 now and it's still happening, so obviously something is not right and enough is definitely not being done. I think until people get in the mindset of giving people the job, regardless of where they come from or regardless of the background, then things are not going to change, he said. Whoever is in charge of making the decisions about who is actually working for that particular company, then things are not going to change if the person who is making the decisions doesn't have respect for people in general.